Hello, so we are back and this time we have a nice laptop to repair, MacBook Pro. Mm -hmm. This job is coming from a local repair shop and it's coming with no power. Okay, let's plug a USB-C charger and see what it's doing. So we have the charger, plug in the charger and the meter it is coming on. But the voltage is stuck to 4 volts and nearly no current. Let's hop to the other USB-C port. 5, 5 volts and nearly no current. Pressing the power button and nothing happened. You can see that nothing is changing. Good. At least it's, um, it's okay because you have a port with 19 and the other port like 5 volts. That's, that's, that's worst. So we know uh, the PD controllers are non-negotiating the voltage. Let me open the laptop quickly and let's have a look inside. Now, what do I expect? I expect a short on a, the main power rail or on the 3.3. And the laptop is open. That's a nice MacBook board. Hmm? Looking good. I can't see liquid damage. I mean, it's looking fine. Let's uh, check the main power rail. So the main power rail is fuses and we have zero, no voltage. Let's switch to beeping. 1.6 ohms, yeah, exactly what I uh, what I told you. So the main power rail is shorted. Now, why the main power rail is shorted? Mm -hmm. Let's see. Do we have a lucky capacitor here? Mm -hmm. Easy pizza. And based on the fact the job is coming from a local repair shop, so it's 150, I'm charging 75 pounds. Uh, must be an easy fault, right? For 75 pounds. So we have the thermal camera here. Let me lower the voltage. Low voltage. A little bit of current. Yeah, 3 amps is fine. Here we have 0 0.9, and here we have 0 0.9. So with 0 0.9 volts, it's taking 600 milliamps. Mm -hmm. What is taking that current? I mean, that coil is hot or... Huh? Maybe not. Yeah, actually you can see something is getting hot there. So what do we have there? We have a power supply, but the whole area is getting hot, which is strange. Can be on the other side of the board. Let me take the multimeter. So with the multimeter, this coil is fine. And this coil has 14 ohms. 14 ohms. It can be a faulty MOSFET. Hmm? Let's higher the voltage a little bit. Yeah, we have a 1.2 amps. I mean, check there. Not sure what is there. It's on one side of the coil, but I believe it's on the other side of the board. Or can be the MOSFET?
Must be a capacitor on the other side of the board, right? I mean, you know what? You know what? Let me try something, yeah? Because we we have to we have to be safe. We don't want to burn something. So we voltage here, yeah, 1.7 volts, the output of this coil. I want to check the output of the coil. So the output of this coil is zero. The output of this coil is zero. Okay, so we are safe. So we can push some current into this capacitor and hopefully it will blow up. And probably blow up. Not yet. Now we 4 volts is taking 240 milliamps and we yeah it's all good fixed mm -hmm. so what do you think about that plug in the charger we have 19 volts with 600 milliamps huh 1.6 amps laptop is coming on mm -hmm. Two amps. We have picture, huh? We fix it. So anyone figured out what happened there? I mean, this was like uh, you know a few seconds fix. I mean, we figured out it's a capacitor. It's not a MOSFET, yeah. So we check the coils. We have like zero volts, so everything was fine. Then. You have to be lazy, yeah? You have lazy, you know, you have to be lazy or the job is too cheap. If the job is too cheap or you are lazy, then you can try to blow up the capacitor instead of uh, taking out the board, removing the capacitor, you know, that kind of stuff. And uh, you can come with, like, high current. I mean, this was a lucky case because the capacitor has quite high resistance. When the capacitor has a high resistance, it will take a lot of power. So we start pushing some current and yeah, the capacitor is blow up. I mean, now in this area, yeah, everything is fine. You can see it, it just, you know, is like normal, um, normal use of the laptop. So uh, don't blame me. I'm just trying to give you like, uh, you know, another way to fix a laptop when, uh, when actually you have limited time. Let's say like that, limited time, yeah? So this laptop, it will work for long. Yeah, of course, we blow up that capacitor. Everything is fine now. Charging fine, working fine. Main power rail probably is present. Yeah, 11.7 .7 and the voltage is going up because it's charging the battery. Everything is fine. So this is a, a proper calibrated uh, current from your proper calibrated power supply. Yeah? And that's how you fix uh, Apple MacBook. Okay, so I'm gonna stop now. This is just you know a short video with uh, with you know, look yeah just 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 hear me out yeah. If I will just take the board you know remove the capacitor replace the capacitor however you know we've seen that kind of video so many times. But how we are doing it without touching that capacitor. I made a video before, remember it was, uh, I think it was like two videos with iPhones. Yeah, iPhones and the capacitor was shorted inside of the sandwich board. And you remember that video, I used like two power supplies. So I was working in the shop and I had one power supply and second, and I pushed like 10 amps on with 10 amps, the capacitor blow up and the phone start working. You remember? Yeah. So have in mind, maybe, you know, you have uh, different uh, kind of jobs where you don't have access and uh, all what you want is to blow up the capacitor. Anyway, thank you for watching, you know, like, subscribe if you like the video and uh, see you on the next one. Bye. Hey, if you find my content being helpful, don't forget you can support this channel by pressing the join button and you can get instantly access to our uh, members only cool collection and uh, discord private channels for support with your repairs also you can have a look on our uh, united kingdom uh, ebay where you can find some cool and unique products united states ebay store 
or our Patreon page. Thank you.